coral relies on sunlight to sustain life and takes elements from seawater to grow. It also filters out some microorganisms to eat. Some corals are similar to sea anemone, use tentacles to stick any microorganism or krill in water current and grab them into mouth to eat for additional nutrition. Almost all corals have symbiotic algae. Symbiotic algae absorbs sunlight to do photosynthesis to produce and share nutrition to its coral host. Symbiotic algae of different coral species have different colors. If lack of sunlight for a long time, symbiotic algae will die. The coral lost symbiotic algae and shows its original color, pale brown or even transparent color. The coral lost the nutrition produced by photosynthesis. The number of microorganisms in the tank is quite limited. The coral will soon shrink or even die due to malnutrition. All corals need blue spectrum illumination. If using the fluorescent tubes as lighting system, you can change the tube's combination with more blue, less white. The coral's locations require water current to pass through, encourage corals to open their bodies or extend tentacles, let more symbiotic algae exposed to light, and catch more microbes in water current. Generally, a coral contains many coral polyps. Each polyp can connect to another polyp to share nutrition to each other. Hence, for coral placing in the tank, as long as most of its body is exposed to light, the small part which is not exposed to light can get nutrition from other connected polyps. There are two major categories, soft corals and hard corals. In simple terms, a soft coral is aggregated by many coral polyps only. The whole body is very soft. When filled with water, the body distends and feels light a little bit harder. Hard coral has exoskeleton with suitable sea water and light conditions. The coral polyps and tentacles reach out from the bone, filled with water and distend. In a dark environment, coral polyps shrink slightly into the bone. When it feels any danger or the water quality turn into worlds, all coral polyps shrink and hide inside the bone. Hard coral needs KHCA to form exoskeleton. Some hard corals only need marginal amounts of elements to survive in a reef tank. Some hard corals in water with enough of various elements grow up fastly. Some hard corals need endless supplement of KH and CA. Slight drop in concentration causes life threatening, rapid shrinkage or even death. The corals introduced to beginners to keep in a small tank not demand too much various seawater elements. They are more resistant to heat and only require medium intensity of light. Mushroom. They have many colors. Some mushrooms have bubble light swelling on the surface. Almost all mushrooms can endure high NO3 concentration and water temperature. They even gradually adapt to the harsh environment and survive. Mushrooms are sexual reproductivity is extremely strong. After fully adapting to the aquarium environment, it will split for reproduction periodically. With the low price 
of many mushroom varieties. It is always the first choice for many beginners to raise corals. A mushroom doesn't connect to another mushroom. Don't share nutrition. When the water property, current, direction changes, or the lighting is seriously insufficient, the mushroom will leave its resident place, floating with water to another place. When it finds a good place to live, it sticks to any bar rock to stay over there. So be careful. During splitting for reproduction, the resident place may be too crowded. New splitted mushroom may move to another place, even drilling into the suction port of the filter, which may block the water into the filter. Button. They have many colors. Some buttons, centers, and tentacles have different colors. A button's bottom. Connects to surrounding button's bottom. Its bottom sticks to the surface of the bar rock. They can breathe by expansion. During the expansion, some of them may encounter other button varieties. They can live together, even touching each other. Sometimes you may find different colors of buttons stick on the same pieces. Of bar rock at aquarium shops. To raise buttons, not recommend to keep any dwarf angel or angel's juvenile or adult fish. These fishes always have sudden impulse to peck a button, although it didn't eat the whole button immediately. The pecking often hurt the button. That. Might let the buttons die one by one. If really want to have such fish in the reef tank, may choose to raise the large button varieties, which have longer tentacles with a stalk-like body. The angel fishes are less interested to pack them. When the water quality turns rose, buttons tentacles. Will shrink inward and wrap itself, able to endure for some time. They will open again when the water quality is back to normal. Green star, star polyps, or coral polyps are grown from the same piece of bottom body, which is semi-soft, semi-rigid. The bottom body sticks and fixes on the bar rock. It expands. And new coral polyp grows out. The tentacles will stretch very long when water condition is good, like a turf on land. The bottom body expansion is quite aggressive. It can jump and bridge to adjoining pieces of bar rock and sticks on it. Its reproductivity is very strong in reef tank. Green star polyp has green tentacles and pink. Bottom body, star polyps have many colors. For example, green, purple, pale purple. The bottom body are always in dark purple. Few varieties have feathery tentacles. When the water quality deteriorates, their tentacles will be checked into the bottom body, able to endure for some time. They will open again when water quality becomes normal, but the tentacles need long time to recover to original length. Letter and devil's hand. In good water quality and suitable water current, the tentacles of polyps appear a little furry. There are many colors of tentacles. Some tentacles are long. And some tentacles are short. When the water quality is getting worse, the tentacles will be checked into the body. Even if NO3 raises above 15 mg per lit, they can also endure for a very long time. When the water quality is getting better, the tentacles will reach out again from the body, but not appear as before. They will not be furry.
unless take months to recover. Dead man's finger, stalks bifurcated from a trunk body. Individual stalk may continue to branch out into dendrites. Beginners may easily confuse it with other finger-shaped coils. Stalks are soft and shake with the current. When water quality and current are suitable, the body can be filled with water and stand up. Dense coral polyps stretch short tentacles. When water condition is getting worse, the whole body will shrink. You may find it hanging down helplessly, lying on the bow rock or sand bed. Branches for varieties, although they were hard corals, they don't consume much of KH and CA. They can endure for a long time, even if the concentration drops suddenly, sustain life by photosynthesis only. With good water quality and current, the coral polyps and tentacles can enlarge and extend several times. Remember to reserve more space for them. Their branches, like bottom exoskeleton, separate the coral polyps group by group. When the water quality is getting worse, the coral polyps die group by group. As long as the water quality is restored in time, the remaining coral polyps groups can survive. Besides, among the same coral family, some species have exoskeletons in the shape of a file plot, slightly changes of water quality or elements concentration. They will shrink soon or even die. Not a good choice for beginners. Sun coral, a kind of hard coral, one of few coral species that mainly rely on hunting microbes or small creoles, raising it in a small reef tank. It is quite convenient for beginners to feed them. When it is put in the tank at beginning, tentacles usually hide inside the boom. Use a pipette to take up few food brine shrimps. Spray the brine shrimps to its mouth every day. Encourage the tentacles to reach out and hunt for food. When most of the tentacles reach out, feed some brine shrimps to them once per week. To raise them, keep checks the NO3 concentration regularly. Sun coral tentacles usually stretches long to hunt at night, so place it under the shadow of the bar rocks at beginning. Feed it after the light is off. After all tentacles are encouraged to reach out, may place it to another location in the tank. Raising sun coral is a challenge to beginners. Pay attention when placing any coral. If a sea anemone touch a coral, the coral will be burned by the paralytic famine. While different species of corals touching each other, they may burn each other to fight for growth area. Therefore, for different species of corals, keep placement distance of around 5 cm between them. Hence, for a small tank with 96 lit water capacity, it's better to keep one or two small anemones with a diameter of 8 cm or less, or 4 to 5 pieces of small corals. The most ideal number of fish is 2 to 4. It is easiest for beginners to take care. The secretion amount of corals is quite large. It is recommended to use a protein skimmer with a submersible pump with proper water current and light. If the coral doesn't open body or stretch tentacles, it means that water temperature or property is changing. For example, the concentration of NO3 or PO4 is increasing. KH or CA is decreasing. Have used another kind of chemical sea salt to cause any change to water property or pH value, or put any KH or CA buffer water toward the coral directly, 
so as to burn it because of rapid chemical reaction. They would make the coral shrink and tentacles not reach out or not appear flowery. If not improve the water condition, you will find that the soft coral can't stand up. Its body collapses or it is even looked like melting. Hard corals, tentacles retract inside the bone and few pieces of coral polyps bodies are peering off. Take the coral out. If you smell a strong fishy smell releasing from it, it proves that the coral is dying definitely. When a coral is dying, it produces a large amount of ammonia and harmful proteins. It can make the water quality of the small reef tank very worse immediately. It may cause other corals to step into death together. It is the common tank overturn situation that beginners may encounter. Therefore, if beginners find a coral showing sign of death, unless you can judge the cause of it correctly, and have the confidence to recover the water condition in a short time so as to keep the coral alive. I don't suggest to have any fluid mine. Remove the coral from the small reef tank immediately. Avoid tank overturn. If unfortunately the small reef tank overturned, don't hesitate. Remove all corals from the tank. Replace half of the water in the tank. If find any dying creature on the bar rock, take the bar rock out and put it into the old tank water. Wash it with a toothbrush. If NO2 concentration has also been rising, may go to an aquarium shop and buy a small sealed glass tube with nitrifying bacteria inside, as known as royal jelly. It will help to reduce the NO2 rapidly. When the NO2 decreases to zero, refer to the previous episodes to decrease NO3 or PO4. Don't change water in this period. For any fish still in the tank, feed it with few foods once per two days. Pay attention to the dirty form amount of the protein skimmer. When the NO3, PO4 and form amount are back to normal, do the tank water change as usual one more time. After one week, may put any new creature in the tank. For the small fish tank, the reason of tank overturn is usually the number of fish exceeding the low of the filtering system or because of parasitic disease outbreak. Lack of timely treatment leads to many fishes death at the same time. It can increase NO2 concentration rapidly. Sampatis change half water in the tank. May use royal jelly to reduce the NO2 rapidly. Refer to the previous episodes. Remove the parasites and their eggs remaining in the tank. Other reasons of tank overturn may be release of some black poisonous compounds at the bottom during cleaning the sand bed or a hurt puffer fish in the tank released the toxin, causing a sudden poisoning death of all fishes. In the following month, use high quality activated carbon to filter any harmful elements out from the water. After that, may put new fish into the tank. Whether it is a small fish tank or reef tank, brown algae outbreak usually happens again after water condition is recovered from tank overturn. By your experience of open tank, take care of the tank as open tank. It will be able to keep marine fishes or in world base again. Up to now, beginners have learned the basic knowledge of marine aquarium installation and keeping of creatures. Since next episode, time to talk about the advanced knowledge of marine aquarium and raising of creatures step by step. Press subscribe for next episode showtime.